All right, so this time we're going to be doing a deck profile for one of my personal favorites, uh, Machina. Uh, I have been playing this deck, uh, this deck specifically for at least a year or so. Um, but the uh, the Machina archetype, I have been playing it since it's it since it was only um, Gear Frame and Fortress as the the really good cards. Uh, so I was mixing it up with some ancient gears, mixing it up with like uh, other other versions. Um, the deck. Uh, is so great. The cards are the Machina cards are really great. Um, but this deck um, now, since it has gotten a whole lot more support, it can do a whole lot more things. Um, this is probably the best version I've uh, had um, outside of the other one where the uh, destruction sword, the the extra deck lock was uh, was active. This deck can actually bring out calamities with uh, Union Carrier. Uh, Dingirsu uh, attached with the the extra deck lock, so it was it was really great. Um, but now that the extra deck lock uh, is gone, I wasn't trying to fit in the uh, the dweller version of the destruction sword, so I uh, I kind of changed it up a little bit. This this deck can basically still make uh, calamities, uh, Dingirsu or Naturia Beast. Um, there's there's a lot there's a lot of things that you can do with this deck, um, but um, as you guys can note, can notice, I'm mentioning things that can negate or go with the first turn, because the deck has zero problem going second. Uh, the deck can just OTK, uh, and it's it's a such a high percentage to go for a game. Uh, so I I'm focusing on how I can play if they end up making me go first. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. Um, so triple Citadel, uh, Citadel. This is also a really really great card because one. It's super powerful. Uh, let's zoom in on this bad boy. Uh, it's super powerful and it has a really good uh, turn one because you can inter interrupt your opponent by destroying a machine monster. Most of the time, you destroy himself because he's a, one of the biggest one. Um, destroy himself to destroy any monster your opponent have that three thousand or less. So really great. Um, it, it revives itself if there's an earth machine that gets destroyed which pretty much almost the entire deck is an earth machine so really great and then they also have those um own effect that destroys themselves to special summon a different one so this will this will trigger in the grave so really really great card um now we have a lower version of him which is mega form this is such a great um uh engine because you can bring this out uh um, using the uh, uh, irradiator um, as long as you can get him in a graveyard there's different plays with this and then this can actually it attributes itself to a special summon a Machida monster from the deck now the one of the best plays would be bringing out possess storage so possess storage can bring back another monster as an extender um, I'm not gonna do a, a combo with this I'm mostly gonna do like a, a duel um, so you guys can see like other combos because there's so many different variants of uh of the combos it really depends on what you have in hand but most of the time your end your end game would be uh to bring out a calamities a natural beast um or you can bring out since there's times where if you go for uh go, go second you want to go for a game but there's times where it locks you into machines so i'll show you the extra deck where you can still go into machines and really really powerful um exceed machine monsters because sometimes it locks you into that uh and you can still go for a game so yeah um triple mega form uh, triple irradiator i'm not i'm not playing the air raider because air raider you can only activate its effect during your opponent's turn I, i'm very impatient I, I don't like it um so I, I focus on getting the monsters into the graveyard and then using irradiator to summon them back so that's that's the main um play uh Machina Metal Cruncher. Uh, this one is super helpful because it's not locked into the Machina um, archetype. So with this, you can actually add any Earth Machine monster. Uh, you can reveal different ones and then they, your opponent randomly chooses. But again, your one of your main goals is to reveal um, three of the same. So basically giving them no option. Uh, so you have a bunch that so you you're playing three of. You have the Air uh, Irradiator, you have the Mega Form, you have the Citadel. Um, you have the gear frame, uh, and one of the best things that I'll show you, um, is the, uh, stampede. So this one I'll, I'll tell you guys, um, more about later on. Uh, 
one of the best cards to partner with the metal cruncher would be the uh machina soldier um machina soldier can special summon a machina monster from the hand if uh if you don't have any other monster so the the ideal play would be normal summoning uh machina soldier special summon metal cruncher um so it still gains the whole 2800 attack uh it, it's because if you you can normal summon cruncher without any tribute but it, its attack becomes 1800 sometimes that's pretty irrelevant but um it's nice to to be able to do this kind of combo and you now you have two um two machine monsters or two monsters on the board that you can you can extend into or you can go into a different um a uh, different place so there's actually really neat uh hand combinations with this if you open it with a soldier cruncher and then the uh, the urgent schedule because you can make genius uh clifford genius and then add more so yeah so there's that um we have triple gear frame i was actually starting to cut this down um because it's not as it's not as good as it used to because you have a whole lot more um other option uh, but since the the Machina Unclass pair uh, came out, this became a one card um, uh, pluses. So you normal summon it, you add a Machina monster. So that's one. Uh, that's an, uh, that's a plus. Uh, you can add Unclass pair. Unclass pair will special summon itself, and uh, its effect will send a Machina monster to the graveyard. So that's another plus one. Um, and then you can make Gear Guy Gant. And Gear Gigant will add um, a level four or or lower uh, machine monster, so that's another plus. So it it it, uh, it got a lot better because of the uh, the new support, which is the Machina and Class Bear. It's also a uh, union, so you can equip it to your Earth Machine and protect them. Um, this one's a really good card. Possess Storage. Uh, it has like a, that spell, uh, the back row kind of interruption in a way. Um, you can target one other Machina monster and one spell and trap card your opponent control, you return it to the hand. So, and it, it doesn't say machine monster, it says Machina. So, like, let's say, uh, my buddy plays a, uh, a zombie world version, um, uh, like a zombie world deck. So, I can just target, uh, possess storage and, um, one other Machina monster and I can bounce it. Now, I'm not locked into zombies or or they're not zombies anymore. So there's there's gonna be a lot more freedom or if you just have one If you just want to bounce like a spell and trap that your opponent control to make sure your your place doesn't get interrupted You can do that too uh, So yeah, and then uh, the main thing that you use it for is to revive a Machina monster from the uh, from the graveyard uh, either an extender or so um, the the other uh, dark version of the Machina is the unclass bear uh if this card is added um except by drawing it you can special summon it and once it's normal or special summon you can uh send a machina monster from the deck to the graveyard uh that unfortunately if you add it to your hand and special summon it it does lock you into machines which most of the time it's not a problem um but i'm trying to kind of make the deck to where it's going to have a little bit more freedom to make other uh other monsters like uh dweller or um calamities so yeah um the last machina monster is fortress uh it it sucks that i'm only playing one because i really 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 love this card um it's one of the og um uh, uh machina that you really want to play but um since the deck has evolved uh you only really need one you can dump this using unclass bear uh you can add it using uh um the spell card um that you can also summon it using the uh the urgent schedule so there's there's a lot of there you see um fortress all, a whole lot of times too um for the non machina monster we use the triple pegasus so this one was just a tech card back uh before for me uh, i was playing one it was really great uh a normal summon it special summon it then you bring out like any earth machine monster from the graveyard you copy its level so it's an easy uh rank uh, rank monster uh, it does lock you into um, only attacking with uh, Xyz monster not specifically machine but if you use urgent schedule plus this now you're locked into Xyz and machine um, so th this is really really great I love opening up with this card um, there's even times where I'm only I'm already playing three but I still uh, if I don't open up with it this is the the one card I search with um, uh, metal cruncher so this this card is really great. It, it makes it easy to to make a, a rank four, a rank 
eight, rank nine, rank ten. Um, you can just change change the level of this and the other monster. Uh, for for some one ofs, we play one Derricane, a uh, Hype Freight Train Derricane. Uh, this guy is actually great because uh, you can summon it even though you have like other uh, attributes. Because there's there's some light in here, there's some dark. Like two of the Machina monsters are dark, um, so it makes it hard for the Bullet Train to get summoned because you only have to have uh, Earth monsters. But this one triggers to summon if you just normal special summon the Earth Machine monster. So that's great. Uh, these are the two uh, rank tens. I only play one of um, just because you can bring it out with. Uh, you can bring it out with urgent schedule, uh, or you can add it using uh, metal cruncher, or you can add it using um, uh, Cleefort Genius. So um, outside of that, there's one gold, one silver. I absolutely love the platinum gadget uh, in the extra deck. So there's times where since you can't link it off the tur the turn, um, if it does get destroyed, you can summon these guys. So they become kind of like a floater. And also at the same time, these guys are extenders. So yeah. Um, and then for the last monster, I love this little guy. Um, this helps out so much. That's why I'm not even playing any kind of like spell and trap um, destruction as of right now. Just because I have the Machina Possessed Storage to do that. And then also Magical Hound. Um, Urgent Schedule can bring this guy out in one uh, higher level 4 or level 5 or higher machine monster. Uh, this can... This is not only um, a level one earth tuner, so it you can make beasts, you can make um, uh, you can make other synchros. So this makes the deck a whole lot more versi uh, versatile as well. But uh, it extends itself, so you you get it as an extender using urgent schedule. Uh, once it's in, if it's in your hand or graveyard, you can bounce a spell or trap um, uh, that's face up on your opponent's side of the field and then you can special summon this you can only use it once per duel but that since the deck is a very uh, otk oriented um deck or once you have your control it only takes like one turn next turn you're going to go for the game uh that, that's all you needed so uh really really um uh, awesome card you, there's times where i even add this uh if i have like a different play i'll add it using uh gear gigant x and then extend from there so link it off synchro with it um, it, it's a level one tuner, like I said, so you can also make Chambara with a bunch of the other level four and then just Chambara with limiter. So, uh, so those are the one of non Machina monsters, uh, off to the spells, uh, redeployment, really, really, really great card. Um, I love the fact that you, uh, you can discard a Machina monster and then add any, uh, uh, Machina card, but you can also discard any card. So there's times where you can, if you just open up with this, you can discard the Hound and add to mocking a monster. Um, and then Hound can just bring itself back if your opponent has a face-up spell trap, which uh, right now there's there's a lot of field spells. There's a lot of, um, if if your opponent has uh, the summon limit, you can discard this Hound, um, add two cards. And since this deck... Uh, spams out a lot you can just summon a uh, magical hound for your one summon and bounce the uh, summon limit then you're good to go so yeah um this is just one of like the really really great searchers uh extends because the deck the deck is very reliant on like a bunch of combo pieces um that's one thing i do hate and like about it because I, I like digging into like combo pieces and trying to figure out what combo i can do with the hand that i have so um uh, urgent schedule so this guy I played this way way back but the the car has gotten expensive and I decided to sell it uh, and as I was d doing the deck build and it actually got me to a point where I'm being creative with the deck so I'm happy I did sell it so I'm not reliant on it but now that it got reprinted I picked it up again and boy oh boy this is this just makes the deck um, a whole lot better uh, before it was great just because you can bring out a couple of things, but now that there's the magical hound, there's like other um, other things that you can do. It was just perfect timing that I picked this back up again. Uh, also pairing it with like the uh, Cleefort Genius, uh, you, you get more. You, you just have pluses. And my personal favorite, limiter removal. Um, th this card going back to going to back to three was one of the best things. Um, I can just 
every time I will make a machine deck, this will always, this is just a staple for me at this point. So yeah, uh, the deck already has so much power, um, but I, I just, I love the card that I'm not, never going to play it. Uh, one of my favorite cards as well uh, would be Pot of Desires. Since it's a combo oriented deck, uh, I'm trying to dig in deeper into uh, getting combo pieces. And there's a lot of three ofs. Um, there's, unfortunately, there is also a lot of like one ofs. But the thing is that I would rather um, go ahead and banish 10 cards and try and uh, potentially get two super helpful cards um, to, get, to get the whole combo going. Because uh, those 10 cards that you're going to banish with how fast the game is going now you're you're probably gonna end up not seeing those 10 cards anyways uh because your opponent is gonna go for a game or so uh one of reborn and foolish burial just really helpful uh dumping like the citadel or fortress in the grave or even sometimes the hound you can just uh, dump it to the grave and then monster reborn is just really really great card and then the last would be the Machina Overdrive. So this will destroy a machine monster, uh, summon a Machina monster, and then, uh, or actually summon a Machina monster first and then destroy it. So this kind of triggers a Citadel from the graveyard as well, but most of the time you use this to bring out um, a Citadel. All right, and then, uh, yeah, one actually really, really important thing about this is that it's a, uh, you banish this, to target three machine monsters from your graveyard, put it back uh, to the deck or extra deck, and then draw one card. So the drawing factor uh, helps out a lot. So for the extra deck, we're playing um, one Anger Knuckle. Uh, this will pretty much. This is kind of like you just engine for the uh, the trains. Um, you bring back the uh, the height freight uh, train or the uh, uh, bullet train or even Citadel because it just. Sends a monster from field or hand to bring out the uh, a level ten. Uh, you can only use it once per turn, so there's times where you're trying to get like two level ten monsters. Um, but it's it's a really great card. Um, one of my really favorite uh, would be Platinum Gadget. Just the fact that you can bring out two monsters. So normal summon a uh, um the uh, the green one. Crap! Why did I forget the thing? That's weird. Uh Soldier. So, Magnus Soldier, Normal Summon, Special Summon, the uh, Cruncher. Now you have two monsters. Um, Cruncher will add the Pegasus, the Flying Pegasus. You make into a Platinum Gadget, and then Platinum Gadget will Special Summon the uh, Pegasus. Now Pegasus will Special Summon the Cruncher from the Grave, and then now you make them both level 9. You you now have a uh, um, uh, Calamities. So... It's really great. Um, I love the extending factor of this, and it it's, it also floats. So if they destroy it by battle card effect, you can special summon the gold or the silver. Um, Plea for Genius is amazing because of the urgent schedule. So um, I stopped playing this for a while, but since I'm playing the urgent schedule, it helps out to add uh, to gain more pluses. And then since um, I needed a, a generic link too, that doesn't require require machines because there's times where um, you're playing, I'm playing against like the whole, uh, zombie world and I couldn't make anything. Uh, I just need a generic link to, to kind of put them in the graveyard and then extend in a different way. Uh, but this actually works really, really great. Underclock Taker has been one of my favorite for a long time because I, I go for a combo based builds and, um, OTKs. So Underclock Taker reducing the attack of your opponent's monster and I usually have a bigger monsters, so they would most likely end up going to zero attack, and then just a uh, it's it seems like it's a direct attack at this point, um, and then with limiter it helps out a lot. Um, so yeah, those are the the link four or the links, um, for the exceed. This helps out a whole lot. Uh, Gear Gigant X. This adds unclass bear. It adds uh, gear frame. Any level four or lower. Fun fact: it can also add. Um, uh, cycle reader, which uh, to, in today's meta, there's a lot of light uh, monsters like Drytron, uh, Eldritch. So you can add um, uh, your your very own side card. And back in the days, what I used this for it was to add uh, Swift Scarecrow. So if I don't end up performing any of my uh, combo plays, I I'm not gonna die on the next turn, and then I can just continue. So, uh, uh, Abyss. Dweller is really great rank four. Uh, Tornado Dragon is a really great uh, rank four as well. 
So I'm just playing these guys because there's a bunch of level four um, monsters in here. And since even if you use Pegasus to special summon, um, uh, to special summon a different um, level, you can make them both level four and then turn it into these guys. So um, for rank eight, we play uh, Dengirsu and uh, Titanic. So um, like I said, there's times where it locks you into machines. So having the option to go into the gear, so is actually really great. This rarely happens because I try to like uh, calculate things to where I know I can have uh, I can go for a game. But the fun fun thing about this is that if I bring out a bunch of machine monsters and have the gear so on the field as well, and if I go for a limiter and end up having like against a deck that like floats a lot and I couldn't go for a game, um, limiters uh, downside is that all my machine monsters will be destroyed in the end phase. Uh, Dengirsu actually prevents that from happening. So, uh, if I don't perform like the whole OTK and have a whole board of machine monsters, uh, end phase Dengirsu will just protect my uh, my machines. And then for rank nine, we have the calamities. And since, like I said, we get stuck with um, uh, machine monsters, and if you're trying to go for a game, this is a really really great card to summon um, Infinite Track Earth Slicer. So. Um, you'll most of the time you'll have two materials so you can destroy up to two monsters and it's a 3100 earth machine so it's really great uh, to have that option so basically this is your first turn play this is your uh, um, going second play um, and then for the rank 10 I actually I used to have one Lieb uh, one um, uh, Super Dora one Gustav Max and one of the um, uh, Gungari die, uh, but I cut to these two, uh, to just these two, because like I said, most of the time you you go for game, so you don't end up needing the other ones. So I, I'm cutting it to the part where the I'm just playing the cards that I just summon all the time. Um, Super Dora is really great because there's times where if you're going first, it's a four thousand defense, and um, most of the time the material here would be uh, um the uh, heavy freight derricane uh so this is a quick effect you can target you can detach derricane and uh target any monster you control that cannot be uh, that so it wouldn't be affected by card effects and then uh heavy freight derricane will trigger uh since it was uh, detached as a material um it will pop a card so it's a it's kind of like a two interruption type of thing um so yeah it's really great uh and then next turn you just put the leave uh the juggernaut leave uh and then go for game uh, for the synchros, I I've been kind of going back and forth um, between uh, just two level fives or since I have level eight, level nine. So like I said, the deck is very versatile. Uh, you can make the uh, the cloud castle and bring back the uh, uh, mocking the metal cruncher, and then make a, a rank nine from there. Um, but it hasn't really came up a lot. The the level eights that I have that I would synchro into, I end up just either linking it off or using it um, as an exceed for both uh, level eight. Um, most of the time, these are the the guys I'm looking uh, like on my in my end board. This these are the two that ends up coming up. I was like, oh, I can summon um, beasts, or I can if I'm going. So this, uh, if you guys can notice, most of the the extra deck are one for a first turn play and then one for a uh, going second play. So this is your first turn play. This is your going second. Chambara with uh, limiter, it, it is pretty pretty good. Um, Cause it can attack twice and then it gains 200, but it's basically like attack with limiter, it's 4K. It can attack again, 42. So so yeah, that's, um, that's a whole deck. Um, again, the deck is super, super, super versatile. Uh, it, it has it can you can pretty much build this to your play style um try and uh, kind of customize it to the way you like it uh, a lot of i've seen a lot of people build it to where it's a control based i get it um but my play style is more of like a otk but i also at the same time i want to be able to uh to play the game even if they make me go first so yeah um that's the whole mocking the deck uh that's for uh february 2021 um hopefully this deck just keeps evolving and evolving i enjoy watching it grow from just gear frame and fortress to now a whole like a full machina um a full machina slash 
um, supports other supports like the train. Um, so yeah, if you have any comments, suggestions, just let me know.